All right, so part three. Um, so right off the bat, just shotgun these guys. Um, you can do this area stealthy, but it takes too fucking long, and I just didn't feel like wasting like 20 minutes trying to be all nice and stealthy with this. Um, that first guy that I shot with the pistol, he either will run right at you, or he will run in the cover at the van car that I was at when I shot the sniper. Um, at this point, it's just a case of Ellie helping you out and uh, taking pot shots at uh, a bunch of these guys. Um, the guys with the red coats, they are the Molotov guys. So you could see when those guys were running, I was trying to specifically shoot that guy in like the knees so that um, there was less of a chance of him hurling a Molotov because I have died a couple of times because of them. And at this point, I believe there's only like one guy left. Um, the only problem is that when this sequence ends and you come out of the cutscene, um, you don't, you lose any supplies that the guys dropped. So at this point, I should have ran all the way to where a bunch of those guys were and just see like if there was any supplies to pick up. But I was kind of at a point of not knowing there was only one guy left. So I kind of got a little unlucky with that because I'm sure there was some supplies I could have picked up. Um, usually the Molotov guy will drop a Molotov when you kill him. Um, so that was my only mistake there is I didn't go running around trying to find any supplies that... Um, that those guys might have dropped um but i cut out running around the area just kind of picking up any random stuff that's in the buildings um where the building where the sniper was is usually like some there's at least like a arrow you can pick up um in one of the buildings there's some like upgrade material you can grab um when the buildings has some like health replen health replenish that you can pick up to give you back some health if you got hit um, and um and then when you drop in here there's some health um just don't have enough for the maximum health. Um, and then just kind of checking what I have and, and got another upgrade bench. Um, I think I end up doing work on the pistol, I think is what I end up doing. Or maybe I don't even do anything. I can't even remember. It's been like a week since I recorded this. I, know, I did the draw speed on the bow, that's right. That's always good to do. The the quicker you can draw that thing. And the recoil on the shotgun is always good to do. I think that's it. I don't really bother with the scope on the uh on the rifle. Um I think I end up doing the reload on these two guns if I remember right. Being that they don't cost anything. Well, I, I don't mean they don't cost anything, but they're, they're like the first things you can actually upgrade. Um, without having any of the tool supplies. Or tool upgrades. But when you run up here, just kind of go into this corner. And just let these two guys just walk down the stairs. You don't have to fight them or anything. Um... It's not worth fighting them. I, I never fight them, so it's not even worth worth dealing with them. Um, it's funny in this section because you always have Ellie like run at them and they just don't see her, which is good and kind of dumb at the same time. You know, the 
the game can have just really stupid intelligence for moments like that. You know, you would think they would see her running right at them, but, you know, they don't, so. But, um, coming to here, there's that health replenish. Um, and then coming into this next area, there's usually a kind of a big fight you have to deal with with a bunch of enemies, but... Um, I don't feel like dealing with them, so I'm going to show you a, a quick little trick of just completely skipping the next battle. So, when you come over here, as soon as you get that audio cue, and you hear the guys talking, just start walking back to against the wall, and you just went out of bounds, Ellie dies, and... When the game reloads, I kept this all in just to show how this works. But once the game reloads, you know, it takes a little bit. You've completely skipped that battle. Um, I don't know why that does that. It, it's something I saw when someone was speedrunning the game do. And it was pretty hilarious and I've used it ever since. Um, there are still supplies to pick up. There's a shiv door that I, I think I had enough to make a shiv. I can't fully remember. I believe I opened the shiv door there. There's actually some good supplies there. I think there's some ammo to pick up and some health. I might have actually upgraded my, my maximum health. I might have gotten the 50 I needed. I can't fully remember. I either do it there or I do it in the next video, I can't remember. But if you just follow the path that I go here, um, you will shouldn't have too much trouble with this, with this section. Um, for whatever reason, when you get into this building, it's like the enemies just immediately know where you are. I, I don't understand why, but as soon as you get in here, this, this random guy, like, just runs out here and he just immediately knows you're here I don't know it, it it's something weird but when you run down this alleyway there's a 50 50 chance of this guy being an asshole and actually hitting you like he'll just like shrug off the brick and still manage to kill you with like a punch it's dumb it, it's like a 50 50 coin flip on if you're not survive it or not Okay. They can't see us. 